And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 25th of July, 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. In terms of news today, we saw mild gains across all major indices in the US as investors looked to the week ahead with some caution. Earnings undoubtedly likely to dominate headlines today. Uh, also, the Fed rate decision will be on market minds. There was some news of China property stimulus coming across the wires this morning, and that's helped the material sector, certainly. Uh, US futures are near neutral, and Asian markets are generally higher on that Chinese news. The Shanghai and the Hang Seng both are performing. The ASX is trading higher by 0.35 of a percent, with materials outperforming. European markets still pointing to a cautious open, and the VIX remains historically low. The US dollar index continues to edge higher prior to the Fed decision, slightly higher in Asia initially, but just starting to pull back a little bit now. We're seeing gold strength coming in. It did retrace below 1960 overnight, but strong this morning and it's back well over 1965. Copper's trading neutral over the last five trading days around that 385 level. And all finally breached that 200 EMA to the upside overnight. Bitcoin still testing 30,000 support with the close beneath that key level overnight. That's important. Be interesting to see if there's some more selling pressure comes in. Earnings continue. It's a big day today. We've got Dow Components, 3M, Verizon. We've got GM, General Electric. And in the big tech space, we've got Google and Microsoft reporting. It is a quiet day today. And the FOMC does begin its meeting. Uh, the only... Significant data out later is US housing data. Just watch for Australian CPI due out tomorrow. A couple of charts have caught our eye today. Uh, we are looking at the Australian US dollar. You can see there we have got some strength coming into this over the last hour or so since that China news hit the wires. And we're seeing a move higher. Now you see as we are at 67.60 at this stage on this hourly chart. We're looking for a breach possibly of 67.72. The higher probability trade is if we start to tackle 67.85 later today. On the ASX, we're liking Wally Parsons Limited. You can see they're pushed now over the $17 level. We are off the highs a little bit at this stage. Uh, but nevertheless, if we put this on a weekly chart, you can see this is highs not seen since 2018. Possible move up in the medium term to test $20. So one worth keeping an eye on to see where it closes towards the back end of the session. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.